journey. Thanks for clicking on my video. This is definitely one of the more simple and straightforward paintings I've ever done, yet it has a really effective finish. I'm going to show you how I made these really simplistic linear shapes and painted them in with a very selective colour palette of two greys and two beiges. It was quick and easy, so I recommend giving this one a go if you have a canvas and need an achievable idea. So I will start by showing you the shape design. I began by drawing three lines through the canvas, which all come together to meet this invisible point slightly off the edge of the other side. Then I drew in this 3D block shape, which consists of three lines which lean slightly to the left, placed in the middle of the square canvas. The bottom edge of this shape sits on the line, and the top edge is parallel to this. I then drew a line to reach the bottom left corner, and the inside line wraps around before also flowing to the left corner. From here I drew this upside down L shape, using the top corner of the previous shape as a reference point. So a total of three shapes which appear to be intersecting create this 3D geometric illusion. I will only need four colours to create this shaded edge effect and that will also make the shapes look more 3D and appear as though they are coming out of the canvas. My canvas is 80cm square so I can use a metre long ruler to map out the shapes. It's quite tricky to get them in the right proportions at first, but I just keep going until I get it right. I need a few more adjustments as I have it laid down on the floor in this shot. In the end, I have so many pencil lines that I just decide to make the final decision with a paintbrush. I also fill in my mid-grey areas to get a sense of if the balance of shapes are right. I go ahead and roughly fill in the dark grey, the light beige and the darker beige so that all the shapes have a first layer of paint. When that's dry, I go straight over with a quick second layer. This wide brush makes it so fast and also makes sure the paint application is as smooth as possible. Then I use some brown masking tape to line up the edges. For this piece, it is important that they are as straight as possible, and this is definitely the quickest and most effective way of getting a super straight edge. I stick the masking tape down, paint over the top, and then quite simply peel it off. I have to wait for the grey to dry before masking up the next colour, so that I don't pull the paint off with the tape. Then I do the same process with the beige and the dark grey. This image on the left is the final outcome, so it gives you an idea of how it progresses really quickly. This really is such a simple design. It took a couple of hours to make and I think the finished effect is really cool. I went for a neutral colour scheme, but you could definitely use four shades of any colour to make this. It's also really versatile and can be hung in any direction to give a different look. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.